Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. And in today's video, I will be demonstrating how to perform a group bar chart in SPSS. Now, even before I uh, proceed to demonstrate how a group bar chart can be produced using SPSS, I request all of you to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon. To begin with, when do you produce a group bar chart? At a very simple and a very basic level, you can execute a group bar chart with two categorical variables. And to demonstrate how this particular chart works, I will very quickly pull out a file which is called as the employee data set. What you're seeing in front of you is IBM SPSS. I'll go to file menu, then choose the option recently used data. SPSS displays 10 recently used files. I will choose the very first file, which is called as employee data set. As you can see here, the moment I click on this particular data set, SPSS populates a new data set, which is called as employee data set. There are three columns, employee ID, his or her gender, and the last variable that you see is job category. The first person is a male and he's employed as a manager. Similarly, the second person is employed as a clerk. Third person is a female, she's employed as a clerk. Now, when you check the sample size of this data set, we have 474 records. So how do we begin by constructing a grouped bar chart? To construct any chart, what you can do is, you can click on the graphs menu. You can see here, this is the graphs menu. Let me click on the graphs menu. It displays a lot of options here for graphs. I'll choose the very first option, which is called as chart builder. The moment I click on chart builder, SPSS shows me a new screen. You can see here at the top left-hand side corner, all the variables in my data set are displayed. And at the bottom half, you can see the different kinds of graphs. I'll choose the very first one, which is called as a bar chart. You see a preview for different kinds of graphs. When you hover the mouse on the second item, you can see here what is called as a clustered bar chart. Let me drag and drop this icon to the canvas at the top. You can see here, SPSS produces a preview of how the clustered bar chart would look. It's also asking you for y-axis, x-axis, cluster on the x. It is asking you to choose a new variable here and the filter variable. We will ignore the filter option, but take care of the x-axis as well as the cluster on x or the set color option. In the x-axis, I will drag and drop the variable employment category. You can see here, there are three categories, clerks, custodian, and manager. The OK button is not highlighted. It's because we have not chosen to set the color property. Now, this is where the second categorical variable, namely gender, comes in handy. So let me drag and drop this into the box for set color. So in the x-axis, I will have employment category, and you can see here a double bar. Each bar will represent one of the genders. Now, there are a lot of useful options here. What I will choose here is, by default, the option is count. If I want to replace it with percentage, let me click on the drop-down menu. You can see here, you can choose count, cumulative count, or percentage. I'll choose the option percentage. So to repeat the steps in x-axis, I have chosen the first categorical variable and to set color, I have chosen the second categorical variable. With this, I'll click on OK. You can see here in the output window, what we have is a clustered bar chart or what we popularly refer to as a grouped bar chart. In the x-axis, you have the three categories for employment namely clerical category, 
custodial category and managerial category. You can see here the legend, the blue color corresponds to females and the red color corresponds to males. When you look at the clerical category, the blue color bar is longer than the red color bar, which means that the females dominate the clerical position as compared to males. It is not a overwhelming domination, but nevertheless, there is some level of domination in this category by the females. Let's make a move on to the custodial category. You see only one bar. There is the red color bar. The blue color bar is missing, which means that all the custodials who are working in this organization are males. Let me make a move on to the third category here, the managerial category. Here you see a longer red color bar as compared to the blue color bar, which indicates that when it comes to the managerial category, males outnumber females. So this is how we can produce a grouped bar chart or what is called as a clustered bar chart. You can simply go to graphs menu, choose the very first option, clustered bar chart, specify the X axis variable, as well as choose the variable based on which you want to set the color and within the span of seconds SPSS would produce the grouped bar chart. With this I have come to the end of today's uh, video. I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Have a great day.